Welcome to the BCFC Coaches Show for week number one here in 2011. I'm Ryan Waters. The BCFC kicks off its 64th season this weekend with a full slate of games as each team is tied for first place. This season feels a bit different as for the first time in two years, the Canadian Bowl Trophy rests in a different conference. Saturday, the BCFC begins its quest to reclaim the title as the defending Cullen Cup champs, the Vancouver Island Raiders, kick off in Langley against the Rams. The game marks the first time BCFC football has been played in the city of Langley. Raiders head coach Matt Blocker says each year begins new challenges and new excitement, but defending champs still has a nice ring. Well, you know, it did last year when we won, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, uh, I'm just worried about this year and, and, and hopefully getting back to that game. Do you feel preparing for this season is old hat for you now? Uh, not really. You know, I think every year you got new players in and a new style team and and uh, it just brings out the excitement and the juices and, and, you know, and away you go. And I still think we're learning all the time. And, you know, we're, uh, as a coaching staff especially, we're trying to get better all the time. And, and uh, I think once we stop that, then it'll be time to hang them up. But uh, nothing to me is old hat. Uh, it's one thing I've learned every year that's new. And something always new comes up you've, uh, you've never seen or, or, or done before. And, and uh, that's, what, that's what makes football such a great sport. It looks like and sounds like you still return a lot of your offensive stars. Do you need to stay after them to get them to come back, or is it a standpoint now where you or you wait for them to come tell you that they're coming back? Well, I think uh, you know, there's no doubt that they know uh, you know how we we stand, and, and especially myself as the head coach, and and uh, you know I have a pretty good rapport with all our vet players, and and um, you know that's what it comes down to, and uh, and also I think once uh, you know a few of them start to make the decision to come back, then then the rest do, and right. and um, that's what happened this year. I think once uh, Jordan Yance decided he was going to come back, uh, I think it made a difference in a lot of guys making a decision to be back, and we're just pretty excited about it. And they've really worked hard. They stayed here in the off season and trained together and worked together, and so uh, it's going to be exciting times. Where do you think you got stronger this year? Well, we, I think we got stronger on the defensive side. Yeah. And uh, that was really important, and I thought we you know, we needed to get a little bit stronger and a little bit quicker, and and uh, I think we've done a pretty good job there. And and um, once again, I guess we'll see when the bullets start you know, flying for real. But we felt we needed to improve there, and, and, uh, and hopefully we did. Well, those bullets start flying on Saturday in Langley. They have a brand-new head coach, so how do you prepare for a team that has a new head coach, that, uh, new systems and new schemes? Well, you know, at that stage, when you don't know a whole lot about the other team, what they're going to do, uh, you know, uh, sure, we can go back and view Chilliwack stuff and see if, you know, they're going to run the same system, and, and we've discussed that and looked at that. But, you know, it is a new team, and, and uh, you know, for us, we just have to be in a position that we can adapt, uh, you know, on the fly. And uh, I think that's one thing our program has been able to do, uh, you know, every year is adapt and and then more so, you got to focus on your own stuff, and you just got to get really good for week one at what you're doing, and and try to eliminate as many mistakes as possible. And we're just really thankful we had that preseason game uh, to get a chance to get out there and and and, uh, and work on a bunch of stuff, and especially on special teams. The Rams organization was very busy in the off season with their move from South Surrey to Langley. As well, they hired a brand new head coach, Jeff Alamohota, takes the reins and says the off season was hectic and busy. <laughs> it, it's uh, exactly right. Uh, it's been short. But, man, things have been going so quickly that it seems uh, we can't wait to get, to get to our first game here. Exciting now being part of the city of Langley? Absolutely. It uh, originally was my hometown, and uh, having the Rams move here, it's, uh, it, it's great to sort of be the hometown and, and uh, coaching a football team right, right in your backyard. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you about your quarterback position, because the Rams used a couple last year. Do you have a number one coming out of camp? We do, yeah. We do. His name is Nate. Uh, he was the quarterback as well last year. Uh, he got banged up a bit. Yeah. Uh, but Nathaniel White is our starting quarterback, and he's looked awesome. Our main camp, as well as in their inner squad game, uh, he, he's uh, really sort of uh, taken the, the reins, per se, and, and he's taken the offense and really been a leader for them. And uh, we, we're really excited to have him there in that position and have his abilities uh, and sort of get him rolling, uh, taking the reins of the club and, and letting him uh, show the, the league is, uh, what kind of player he can be. Other than Nate, who are one or two guys that you're kind of excited to see this year? Wow, well, there's a, there's a bunch. Uh, there's a tailback that w- that we got out of a community football program here, uh, Kyle Albertini. He's uh, he's a dynamic football player. He does great things with the football in his hands. Um, of course, uh, we're a returning player, Nick Downey. He always does yeah. special things with the football. Uh, and then on the defensive side of the ball, we have a couple guys coming out uh, that are going to do some dynamic things. Obviously, Jordan Lennon, uh, but we we get Jazz Dillon back from University of Regina. Uh, he's going to help us up front with the D-line. 
And so we are real excited to, to see those guys help out. Week one, you draw the Raiders, the defending champs. How have you prepared for them? Well, we've prepared like we usually prepare. Uh, we try to get guys understanding that every, every week is, is the same week, regardless of who you're playing. Um, but, of course, uh, it's great to, to put ourselves up against the, the team that's kind of the team to beat in the conference right now. So guys are excited. Uh, they really want to do well and they want to show guys that we can compete with with the teams that uh, are in the higher echelon up in this league right now. On Sunday, the Okanagan Sun will travel to their interior rivals to face the Kamloops Broncos. The Sun are one of three teams who made a head coaching change as the Jason Casey era begins. He becomes the third head coach in four years for the Sun and says the team is ready for the challenge ahead. I think so, yes. Uh, For the most part, they're just eager to get on the football field and start beating on someone who doesn't wear the same color jerseys as them. Uh, Two and a half weeks is a long time to be beating on your teammates. So uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, I think we're very ready for week one. You take on the Kamloops Broncos, a team that you obviously faced in the past, but not with a new coach. They have a new coach as well. Can you prepare the same way with a different head coach that you would in the past? A little bit, bit, yes. Uh, We are looking at old game film, uh, not only against us, but other games they played in last year, just to get a feel for what they might bring at us. But essentially, they and us are going into the game blind. They don't know what we're going to be running. We don't know what they're going to be running. Uh, So it's going to come down to who's got the best horses. So we're betting that our horses are better than theirs, so we can handle whatever they throw at us that, you know, is new to us and be able to make adjustments on the fly. I want to ask you about the personnel. It seems like every time I check Okanagan.ca, there's a new guy from somewhere else coming. Is there more guys from out of province coming on this team or going to be on this team this year than ever before? It's possible. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you know, sub- September 15th is a long way away. So uh, if talent crosses our path, we're going to try and get it. Other than a victory, obviously, in week one, what do you want to accomplish? I just want to get some, I guess, consistency already to our game. Offense, defense, special teams. I want guys to be able to step up and show, yeah, this is the 12 guys that are going to run this offense, defense, whatever it might be, for the rest of the season. We're the number one team uh, for you guys, and that's what we want to be. We want to see players step up and say, yeah, I'm the starting linebacker. I'm the starting O-tackle. That's what we need to see. Now, obviously, you know, first game there's going to be hiccups, but we also want to see those that can handle making a mistake and then bouncing back the next play and not letting it drag them down so I guess maturity comes for the most part and there are some 17 18 and 19 year olds that are showing that as well so I think there'll be a lot of new names at different positions but by no means will we have a I guess a, a step back in the talent level the Kamloops Broncos are coming off their best season to date missing the playoffs by just one game the Broncos hired Duncan Ortheus to lead the club after the resignation of head coach Rob Ellis Orthius got a chance to see his new club in action last weekend in an exhibition game, and he was happy with what he saw. I, I was pleasantly surprised with the with our first string as we we played really well in the, in the first half, and then uh, once uh, once the first half was over, we put our seconds in, and uh, that's that's what happens when when they come in. The uh, Chilliwack came back, and I give all the credit to Chilliwack there, and mm-hmm. but uh, there's still a lot of stuff to clean up. But I was uh, I was happy with our performance in the first half. Last year, the Broncos used a few different quarterbacks. Do you have a number one guy? Not quite yet. We still have three, uh, three very solid quarterbacks. Our two from last year, Jesse Newfeld, Dylan LaPrairie, and we also have Drew Jacobson, from, uh, who was a backup with the Sun last year. And they've, mm-hmm. they've all performed really well. And it's, a, it's been a tough, uh, tough go trying to put one out there because they've performed so well. The defense has performed so well the last number of, number of years. You still have a few guys back, like Mitch Day and Tyler Lee. Will the defense be as strong? I think so. Like uh, Losing uh, Alex Adams and Mark Gratton and uh, Kyle Armstrong is, is tough, but uh, mm-hmm. it's, uh, it's something that uh, the kids have, some kids have stepped up. And Actually, we've, uh, we've moved Ty, Ty Lee to DN because he has the same type of body type and he's the same athlete as Alex was, that we mm-hmm. think we can, he can step right in there and and be the same type of player Alex was. And uh, we all uh, we have new, a couple new backers that can step in for Ty's place and Mark's place, mm-hmm. and our DBs have been stepping up as well. How are you preparing for a team like the Okanagan Sun who didn't play an exhibition game? You haven't seen really film on them. They have a new head coach. How are you preparing for them? It, it's it's kind of tough because uh, we don't know what kind of offense they run or defense they run, but we're, we're just kind of going off what the, the film we have of them last year. I don't know if they've uh, switched their their old playbook yet or not, but uh, it's real tough. I know the, the two quarterbacks that they have are very quick, so we're just, uh, 
just try to get a kid out there that can give us a look of a very fast and mobile quarterback is mm-hmm. is one of the things that we gotta got to put on the, on, the, on the practice field. Also on Sunday, there is a new era, well, somewhat in Victoria, as the Rebels officially changed their name to the West Shore Rebels and launched a brand new logo in the offseason. Coach John Cardalicchia is back as they are preparing to travel to Chilliwack to open up the season. Cardalicchia got a first-hand look at what his team needs to work on after an exhibition game last weekend. Oh, absolutely. You know, that's what exhibition's all about, right, yeah. too give you a you know a good view of your team and uh and give a bunch of new guys an opportunity to show themselves and tons of stuff but uh, yeah we we've got a mountain of things to work on and when you when you play a team like the Raiders obviously um you know that gets magnified cuz you're you're playing the league champion so mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to be good, and if you're a little rusty and in preseason mode, then you're going to pay for it. So, Such a big part of your offense from the last couple of years, Sam Adu, has uh, moved on to bigger and better things. Who's going to carry the load this year for the Rebels? Uh, we got a kid named Greg Morris we're pretty excited about. I mean, you, you never replace a Sam Adu, you yeah. know, but uh, Greg's definitely a, a very exciting back. He's... Uh, he, he's very talented. He's uh, he's very tough and and a very humble kid. So uh, we think he'll he'll do some special things for us this year. Other than Greg in the running game, uh, who are you excited about this season? Oh, I'm excited about a lot of guys. We've got some talent here. You know, I had a really young team last year. We had a lot of kids that were still in 17. You know, 18 starting all over the field. A lot of them are back this year. And just a little older, a little stronger, mm-hmm. understand the league a little better. And, um, you know, we're, we're pretty excited about a lot of kids. You open on the road this year in Chilliwack like you did last year. They're coming off a big win. How are you preparing for a new-look Husker team? We never take anybody lightly around here. And, uh, you know, we, we don't just say that, we mean it, right? So it, it's tough to prepare for Chilliwack right now because... You know, we we don't have game film on them. Right. They don't have game film on us. But um, at the same time, we're just polishing up everything we do and knowing that we have to be sharp on the sideline and make on, on-field adjustments. The Chilliwack Huskers are coming off their first win since the 2009 season after a come-from-behind victory last weekend against the Broncos. Head coach Luke Atchison tells us what the win did for the organization. I guess I could say it got a bit of a monkey off our back. Anytime you mm-hmm. go winless in a season, you're, you're definitely uh, hunting for that first win, and we were able to get that on the weekend um, in, in dramatic fashion. So it was uh, it was a great boost of confidence and, and put, a sm- put a well-deserved smile on a lot of people's faces. So these kids have been working hard, and they deserve that. So, you know, I think it gives us some confidence going forward and, and some, some, mo- some momentum to build on. Before the game in Prince George, there's so much goes into the off season, so much recruiting. Did you accomplish what you wanted to do in the off season? I guess yes and no. Uh, I think we're a little bit disappointed with the numbers that we have in. We only have just over 50 last year. We had a few more than that. I think we started the season with 70. So mm-hmm. um, I'm happy with the quality that we brought in and the product that we can put on the field. You know, we could uh, we could use a few more bodies and a little bit more depth at this point. Sure. Well, you open at home this weekend against the Rebels. They have some new personnel as well. How are you preparing for them? You know, we haven't seen the film. I know they played against uh, against the Raiders on the weekend. We haven't seen that film, so we're kind of basing it off of some of the things that they did last year. Um, we're aware that they have a new running back in there, and, and Adu's gone. So we're, we're just trying to, you know what, honestly, we have so much to work on without worrying about them mm-hmm. that uh, we need to be able to do what we do soundly. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to prepare for them with, with as little as we know about them right now and, and we're not having a seen, uh, seen them play so far this year. Um, but we've got, uh, we've got more than our things to, uh, to improve on right now. Week one of the BCFC kicks off this weekend for the 64th time. Welcome back to BC Junior Football. Enjoy week one. Until next time, I'm Ryan Waters.